What's up, everybody? Today I'm here at Charleston Auto Sales just briefly looking at Subarus because that's all they sell is Subarus. <laughs> so here is a Subaru, what? WRX. And uh, we'll just briefly walk around this car. It looks like it's one that just probably got purchased and they're going to clean it up and do whatever they need to do to get it ready for the front line. But I figured we'd take a look at it and see what's going on with this car, right? Because it's all about these conditions of vehicles and things like that. So I like the white. Looks pretty good. Looks like our camera is a little bit out of focus right now. Let's get that. Boom, right there. So check this out. If you ever wondered what those were on the fenders right there, that, that going on, here's the thing. When cars are low to the ground and got bigger wheels on them, when they churn, sometimes your tire will rub up on the fender, right? So what this does, believe it or not, there's rubber bands in there. If that tire happens to rub in here, it gives it some room to flex a little bit, as you can see. Okay, it looks like that was done right up in here at one point, and they fixed it and put it there. But that lets that bumper flex so it doesn't get ripped up or something like that. So that's what the purpose of that is. If there's a different purpose in that, and I'm not saying it properly, feel free to go in the comments section and let me know. But that's, that's what I'm thinking. Other than that, though, you know, it's got, like, somebody blacked this out here. Black that out, black the bottom out. Another thing I kind of like about it, which looks kind of cool, little road damage, right? Hitting stuff, it's low to the ground. I mean, they straight up stitched it up, huh? That looks kind of cool. Looks like that old doll that, you know, the kids had for a hundred years and stitched the doll back up. Got the white letter tires. Definitely looks like might have had a different fender put on at some point, right? Again, folks, a lot of times you got to really pay attention to Subarus when you're buying them because sometimes people get them and they, they're rough with them, you know? Or they, 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 they drive these cars because these cars are built to drive, you know? It's all-wheel drive comes standard. And again, it's just a fun vehicle to own. But people drive them. They really do. They rip it up around the corners. I mean, they take them to the racetracks. They take them up to the Dragon Place up in, you know, North Carolina and whip them around the mountainsides and all that kind of thing. So, again, just pay attention to the cars. Make sure. The nice thing about this dealership that I'm learning today is they have two certified Subaru mechanics back here so they can look at these cars and tell you exactly what's going on with them before you buy them. You got dual exhaust. Definitely got some blacked out tail lights. That's a ticket waiting to happen, right? I mean, those are blacked out. And up here, it looks like at one point there was that other spoiler part that sat on top of there. I do like the roof racks. The interior, you got it. Well, you can't, it's unlocked, it's locked, but you got manual transmission in there. You got the cloth seats. It's a nice car. Let's go check out a few more of these Subaru WRXs because Charleston Auto Sales, they have a couple of them sitting out here. And again, everybody, check them out online at Charleston, no, <laughs> charlestonautosales.com. I was trying to read it off the camera, but it was backwards. CharlestonAutosales.com by appointment only, 843-297-3211. There you go. Send them a text. Let them know you want, you found something out here you want to see. And uh, I'm sure they'll be more than willing to come over here and let you test drive and all that good stuff. So.